best way to provide for prosperity and security is to do things right. And when it comes to building cars, Toyota does do it right. Award-winning and widely imitated, the Toyota production system is stunningly simple. The customer places an order, the dealer notifies Toyota, and the car is built to spec. Sound familiar? Basically, Toyota builds cars the same way Dell builds computers. We're not stockpiling cars, and it works really well. Big three automakers like Ford and GM still use traditional mass production, the build it and they will come model. Mass production was the industry benchmark for decades, but in 2006, it's costly and antiquated. People touring a, a Toyota factory uh, plant in, in Japan, and at the end of the line, there was only one person uh, checking on quality when the vehicles come up, compared with some other plants where there were 15, 16 people, and the manufacturer was very proud to say, we crawl all over these vehicles at the end to make sure it's, uh, the vehicles are right. The Toyota approach was, we get it right from the beginning. Toyota is also different in the way it manages inventory. Ford pioneered just-in-time manufacturing, but it was Toyota that perfected it. Here in Cambridge, there is no warehouse. Parts arrive just two hours before they're needed. You'll see on the lines here, there's very minimal inventory here. Let's go we have enough for two hours at any one time. Another edge Toyota has is the ability to manufacture multiple vehicles at the same plant. In Cambridge, Toyota builds the Corolla, the Matrix, and the Lexus RX330. The big three have been slow to adopt so-called flexible assembly. But the secret of Toyota's success in North America runs deeper than its famed production system. Toyota's corporate culture is also fundamentally different than that of a Ford or a GM. You can't get continuous improvement unless you have a culture of respect. And respect for people, respect for your suppliers, respect for your customers is very important within the Toyota culture. It's a culture that's distinctly Eastern in flavor, almost Zen-like. Tangay peppers our conversation with Japanese management terms like Jakota, meaning built-in quality, and Kaizen. Toyota's management techniques are legendary. One of its most famous is Kaizen, a Japanese word that means continuous improvement. It's something people around here are always focused on. The principle of Kaizen is about one of eliminating, eliminating all the waste. So we ask our team members and, and everybody participates in it, you know, how can they do the job a little bit better? Kaizen can be traced back to 1950s Japan when the country underwent a manufacturing revolution. But in Canada, Kaizen starts here, in a Cambridge classroom of new Toyota employees on a mock assembly line. This exercise is all about learning the value of teamwork and coming up with new ways of doing things. The experience here is that uh, every team member has a valued opinion and they want to hear about it. If you have the smallest idea, they want to know it and they want to see how they can implement it into the process. But hold on. By cultivating a culture of constant improvement, aren't workers at risk of literally kaizening themselves out of a job? If I kaizen my job and made improvements that I'm not needed, Tyler will not lay me off. They'll give me work in another area and they'll give me meaningful work, so it's not just filling the job things. We don't lay people off. There hasn't been a layoff in Toyota worldwide since 1950. So what's next for Toyota? It's already the biggest automaker by market cap, valued around $200 billion US. It's also the most profitable, making over $12 billion last year. And in terms of volume, it's second only to GM. But many expect that mantle to soon pass to Toyota. We set up a standard, and then we work hard to reach that standard, then we raise the bar. That is a culture. Niall McGee, Report on Business Television, Cambridge.